Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. Look what I got, Affirmators. This is for love and relationships. Hmm, I wonder what glorious, beautiful, redhead goddess angel got these for me and I can't believe it and she's amazing and oh my god. And I wanted these so bad for the longest time and every time I would hear Melanie's readings and she used the affirmators. I like the original ones she used too, but I was thinking, oh, I'm going to get the loved ones for me, definitely the loved ones. And I put it off and put it off and put it off. And I just love the humor in these. I love her humor too. Like she didn't even need affirmator cards to be funny and silly and make me crack up all the time. And I like bringing humor to you guys too, because humor is a great medicine, right? And affirmations is a great way of dealing with <laughs> negative thoughts and thing patterns that you get into and when something bad happens you know it's like what do you do what do you do you like sure you can cry it out maybe if you want to for a little while but you don't want to stay stuck in it for a really long time right because if you do then things will just keep coming to you so do what you can do, whatever you can do to get out of your funk. You know, go see a movie, watch a funny TV show, Saturday Night Live would be good. Hang out with friends, go party, do whatever you need to do. Read some affirmations. So I'm going to do a little flip through and everybody get an idea what this is. I don't know if it's dark, like what the lighting is for you guys in here. I felt like the overhead lighting, my little... Um, what is that? Fluorescent light. It's kind of ugly. And right now I just have natural light coming in. But for just a little while longer and it's really like overcast. So it's not super bright in here. But hopefully it's good enough. Okay, I'm going to clip on my mic. Magically unlock the secret to every relationship. Kind of. <laughs> oh yes, I so, so need this. I also love this box. It's so awesome. Easy to open so sturdy this is nice and thick <laughs> I don't know I just love a good sense of humor and this also tabby thing so nice okay you guys are seeing this for the first time with me because I haven't even looked through it once yet and if anything sticks then that's why but it doesn't feel sticky it feels great how to use these cards. Let's see what they say. There is no wrong way to use these cards, laws notwithstanding. <laughs> but here is our suggestion. Turn the cards face down on the table in front of you and shuffle them the way a three-year-old would. As you mix the cards around, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and silently ask that the card give you a message that will, that will benefit you in this moment. Then reach in and pull a single card, confident that this is the one card for you, at least for now, until the next time you pull a card. <laughs> read your affirmator, and for the greatest potency, read it out loud. Say it as much as you like, then say it again. If you draw a bonus card, relish it in its wisdom and use its gifts at will. For you have been bestowed with the great and mighty powers reserved only for ten cards in this deck. What fortune! Alrighty, so this is, uh, here's the collection of affirmators. Let's see, I think, well, I think Melanie has all three of them, and I can't remember which one she used first. I think it was the white ones, and they were just, you know, they cheer you up. They're just fun. Fun way of looking at things. I like that, you know. Turn it upside down and make you make it make make fun of it. Make make it make you laugh. So I guess I'll look at it this way. So in case you didn't know, that was the backing. A very cute octopus on a unicorn whale. That is so perfect. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm not gonna read them all. I'm just going to like show you what some of these are. Let's see. Appre acceptance, appreciation, benefit of the doubt, boundaries, boundless love, celebration, commitment, compassion, They're not sticky, but they're just very smooth. And the cards just love each other. 
compliments. Curiosity. Meeting new people. I remember what a treasure trove of opinions, interests, and stories they are, but these treasures will only be unlocked if I embrace my curiosity. So I'll be curious and you be interesting. Deal? Deal. I'm going tomorrow to sing with my mom in a German club. I do not know how to, I can barely read German. I can't even read German. I have a, the memory of a five year old when it comes to German. We moved here when I was five, so. I mean, I know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know, wie geht's dir? I know, wunderbar. I mean, Mutti, Fati. I don't know a lot of German, but um, yeah, I'm going to sing German with my mom. And she is getting so excited. She's going to, she's getting me a dress, one of those dirndl dresses, you know, the kind that the ladies wear with the beer and the boobs hanging out and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, um, uh, I'm going to do that. So that's my new adventure. And I'll meet some new people. A bunch of older German people who can really sing German, but not me. Anyway, but it'll be fun. And I'll be with my mom, and so that's the important part. Depth. <laughs> I want some weird, wonderful people in my life. Giving. So I'll give some, some of my weirdness and wonderfulness. Grace. Harmony. Humility. Oh, yeah. I'm a catch, damn straight. <laughs> Independence. Integrity. I align with the center of myself, a glowing core of personal integrity. Emanating from this core is the knowledge that I never have to compromise who I am or what I want for anybody. I can have, I can live a life that doesn't include settling unless I want to settle, in which case settling would be my idea for perfection and would cease to be considered settling. Ugh, paradox is hurt. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. Listening. Elephant. Loyalty. <sighs> Maturity. My best self. No scorekeeping for sure. Open heartedness always. Ownership sometimes. <laughs> I take ownership for how I make others feel, and I do my part to repair any bridges I might have burned or perhaps even lightly singed. If bridge mending feels impossible, then I can start small. Instead of becoming a bridge architect, maybe I'll just skip the bridge and walk the long way around. Taking ownership is great for burning calories. I got this one with Melanie recently. Ha <laughs> ha Good one. This was meant for me. Pleasure. Receiving. Reliability, resilience. I'm gonna read this to my kids on the bus. I just, ugh, stop saying mean things, children. Rest. Self worth. Solidarity. Support. Teamwork, <laughs> vulnerability, wants and needs. A little bit different, huh? I take stock of my relationships and I'm honest about what I want and need from the people in my life. I know the difference between the two. Wants are negotiable, needs are not. Both may be desired and either may be acquired, but that's getting into Venn diagram territory. No one wants to draw one of those. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Warmth. Wholeness. I sang some Alanis Morissette today because she has a good sense of humor too. She has that nice sarcastic, na 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 na. <laughs> that feels good to sing songs like that sometimes. Wisdom. Ooh, I like these cards. When do you do these? So here's cleansing, feeling bogged down, 
by the weight of thousand thoughts, feelings, boxes, and mystery objects lurking in your closets, consider this a prescription to clean house, mentally, physically, literally, figuratively, and anything else that applies verbally. Adverbally. <laughs> it's hard to make room for new connections and experiences when every bit of your emotional space is cluttered with psychic bric-a-brac. So enjoy a major guilt-free flush out and not to worry, you can always find your new psychic bric-a-brac in the metaphysical clutter section of Craigle's list. Or come over and pick my brain. Oh my goodness, I need a little bit of this. It's just like my head's like, I gotta do this and this and this and this and this. Like, no, you don't have to do all of this today. It's okay, you can like go goof off if you want to. But I'm such a go-getter. <laughs> Perspective. Initiative. Levity. Perfect match. Congratulations, you've gotten your and everyone else's wish. This is an auspicious sign that a healthy, authentic relationship is either here or on its way. This is the sort of relationship where you don't have to compromise, settle, sell out, or otherwise be a non-you. This is a relationship anchored in truth and love that neither party will have to hide their farts from. <laughs> Smells like a special duo. Mm, that's my perfect match. Yeah, somebody can fart next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty. Mm -hmm. Honesty. Sensuality. I like these. When do you use these? I'm going to have to read that. Surrender. I guess you can use them any old time. Thoughtfulness. Wait and see. So there you go. That is Affirmators love and relationship so you guys let me know if you like me to use these these are really fun they're great for valentine's i think i will use a big pile of loveness it's gonna be like a stack full of love it's gonna be love tarot love oracle love affirmations and everything for you guys to make you feel good in february especially for Valentine's because you deserve it. My beautiful sparkles of light out there. I love you. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.